The race is on to complete a coronavirus vaccine. Two pharmaceutical giants, Pfizer and Moderna, are in the final phases of development. CBS News got an exclusive look at what it's like to be part of the Pfizer trial. Dr. Victoria Smith knows the dangers of COVID-19. As a family medicine physician, she lost three patients to the virus. I'm not an immunologist, um, but by being part of a trial, I can be part of that research front as well. Dr. Smith is not just helping to treat COVID, now she's helping to find a vaccine. In July, she became one of the first of 30,000 participants needed for Pfizer's phase three vaccine trial. It's a double blinded study, meaning neither she nor the researchers know if she got the vaccine or the placebo. Are you kind of hoping you got the vaccine? Yes, <laughs> I do. CBS News got an exclusive look at Auctioner Medical Center in Louisiana, where Dr. Smith got her first dose. Every week, Pfizer sends them shipments of the vaccine and the placebo. In order for the FDA to approve a COVID vaccine, it must prevent or decrease the severity of the disease in at least 50% of vaccinated people. There's no evidence that, that the vaccine makes the disease worse at all. So that's really, really in, in, very encouraging. Dr. Katherine Edwards is on Pfizer's vaccine safety board. Once a week, they video chat to analyze data for adverse effects, especially hospitalizations. Dr. Edwards says there is no evidence so far the vaccine causes serious reactions, but mild reactions are common. May have a sore arm, or you may have a little tenderness, or or you may have a little headache, or you may have a little fever. So those are things to be expected. It's just your immune system getting tweaked, and you're making a better response. If the trial is successful, Pfizer hopes for regulatory approval as early as this October, with the goal of supplying up to 100 million doses worldwide by the end of the year. Trial participants are required to track their symptoms daily for a week after each injection, then on a weekly basis for two years.